This is my way of paying it forward. Um, several years ago, I lost my oldest child to an accidental drowning, and I had fallen asleep when he let himself outside. And so I lived with this guilt and this blame. Um, and I was very suicidal for a time. And a woman wrote me a letter. Her name is Teresa. She lost her daughter at the age of six. I can tell you everything about the letter, and I have no idea who this woman is. I only know her first name is Teresa. And in this letter, on an, on an evening where my son was picked up by my husband who left after we lost her son, I was in the house for the first time alone and I was probably as broken as I can ever recall being. And I was writing out the letter saying goodbye because I had the plan to end my life. And I reached for this letter that I didn't even notice before and I opened it up and I read it. And in it, she told me about her experience. But then she said, and she, she like in bold print, she said, but if you choose, life can still be beautiful and there is joy and you can live your best life, even despite this tragedy. And it shocked me. Like it literally shocked me because I thought that that was, that that had just ended. Those possibilities were no longer an option for me. And she changed my thinking and gave me just enough hope that I changed my plan. And I decided that I was gonna live. And I didn't know how I was going to get there, but I believed that I could find joy. I didn't know how long it would take. And it took years. And there were, you know, these milestones and then setbacks. But I learned so much and now I want to share what I've learned and, and I hope that I can be a Teresa for someone that I may never meet.